Welcome back. This is Tom. And this is Tom's Ray Room Show. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about this antenna right here that I got from W4KGH. He sells these on eBay, uh, different styles. This one was a newer style than I had seen on his ad and that he sent me. And so uh, asking for a description of, you know, what are all these connections? It was the one he normally sells has an antenna connection and then a connection to go to a ground and then a connection to go to your radio. So he wrote a nice little article on his website about how this thing is configured and specifically talks about this little box right here. Now, this part of the antenna is your normal uh, long wire, random wire antenna. It's just a piece of wire and uh, you can bring this directly into your radio but you really should have shielded cables similar to their antenna I just reviewed a few shows ago. And that's, that's it. But that has a shortcoming and it's not as important for shortwave listening as it is for transmit. But it still is important for shortwave listening. And that is, the characteristic of this long wire antenna is that down here where you connect it to your radio, it's high impedance. Instead of your 50 ohms, which is your, what your radio is expecting, it's like nine times that much. So you have a mismatch, and of course when you have a mismatch, you're losing signal into your radio. So that is what this box is for. This is a transformer in here with several taps. And I'll show you the diagram that he put in his article that he has on his website. It's right here. It's not going to focus because I got my camera on fixed focus today, so I can't zoom in. But basically what it is, is terminal A, which is this is terminal A, is where the antenna connects. Terminal B is to go to earth ground. So you'd have a separate line here to go to ground. Optionally, and that's how some of the other antenna setups are made, is you use the coax for your ground, which would be to go to this terminal here, which is terminal C. So he has a jumper here and that jumpers the ground and the coax on this end together to get your ground through the shield of the coax down to your radio and grounding it that way. So two different ways and if you want to do a direct ground to this terminal you just take this jumper off. So that's what the additional connector is here, terminal. And then on this end, this is the part that goes through your coax. On um, this particular antenna, he does not provide the coax, so you have to provide the coax. This is a BNC connector, so you'd hook that coax to this BNC connector and then hook it to your radio. And then this is, of course, a little loop, an uh, eye loop, that you use for hanging it to take the stress off of your antenna and off your coax. So you'd string this up. In, in a tree someplace using this insulator and then you would hang this little box it's, it's fairly heavy it's not real light but it does have that coil in there that toroid uh, for making the transformer and uh, hang it up and there you go so I just wanted to show you what this is this is called an in-fed antenna with a matching transfer. This is a matching transfer. I have probably misused the term in-fed antenna when I was talking just about antennas with just this wire and then you bring from the end you bring it into your receiver. That I guess that is maybe not the correct name for that because the real name 
for an infed antenna, sometimes called a Zeppelin, is using this matching transformer to get the 50 ohms down, I mean, excuse me, the 950 ohms down to 50 ohms via this transformer in here with several windings. So, I am going to try to uh, install this antenna today. I'm hoping my neighbor has some time to help me because I did struggle with putting the other one up just because I'm getting old and uh, I got chastised a little bit by my wife for getting on a ladder and I, the ladder I used wasn't even high enough for me to do a proper installation. I want to do and I say proper, I mean something that it's more permanent. That's what I mean by proper. So, since this one it has this heavy box on the end, I'm going to have to try to do a little better job of installing it. Hopefully I can get some help from my neighbor to get this up today. So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. I still have one more antenna to, um, to test, and that's the one from MFJ. And also, Dave, who I showed you his antenna, has just come out with a new antenna on his eBay site, similar to this one that has the matching transformer similar to this one. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.